Good evening and welcome to Bishop Miege High School in Roland Park. Tonight's Ivy High School game of the week. We got boys EKL action and a good matchup. As you've got number four and undefeated Blue Valley North on the road taking on number 24. Or number 21, I beg your pardon, Bishop Miege at 8 and 3. Kevin White, Michael Watson, Les Norman, your announcers. And Michael, uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup. These teams have kind of seesawed back and forth, but if you want to be Blue Valley North, you're undefeated and you want to win. It's tough to win on this floor against the Stags. Yeah, I think that's what they have to their advantage is playing on their home floor tonight. Kind of undersized, but Blue Valley North has really put together a, a complete season so far. One of the toughest teams in the area. Well, some of the guys to uh, watch tonight as we get to our high V player profile. How about Blake Jarrett having a monster uh, senior season, even though he's a big baseball star? Yeah, big baseball star, but having a great year so far, averaging 13.7 boards. Silky Smooth can go inside out for Blue Valley North. And for the Stags, Aiden Wing, 6'4", senior, having a big scoring season at 22 per game. Well, he's been a scorer his entire high school career, but this year getting a chance to break out, averaging those 22 points, and he can do it from deep, deep as well. He's going to have the big night tonight if they're going to have a chance to knock off Blue Valley North. Stags and Mustangs from Bishop Miege. We got your starting lineups and the opening tip-off coming up next. Tonight's game was part of the Game of the Week. It's brought to you by hy -Vee. Proud to support Kansas City High School Athletics. Meet your high V starting lineups. And for the visitors, Sand, the point guard. Most improved player is Lashley. We saw Logan Parks. Well, her older brother is going to be starting on the front line, but Garrett's been the man. He is with the MVP earlier this year of the Shawnee Mission East tournament. Team 12-0, 1-0 in the league, and one of the favorites to win 6A this year. They're number one in the Kansas Basketball Coaches Association poll. And for the Stags, their lineup. We got J-Rod at the point. Change at the two guard. A.J. Johnson not starting to be Mac Armstrong, the Fontana Award winner in football. Wing, their leading scorer, McCallop. We saw his sisters playing in the girls game. And Jensen back after a ankle injury suffered a couple of weeks ago back in the starting lineup. As this team got second place in the Ralph Miller Classic down in Schnute. They lost in the final to Andover Central in overtime. Officials for this boys EKL game. Same as the girls game. John Becker, Cooper Moore, Adrian Flanoy. Cooper Moore's dad is John Moore. He's been refereeing for 38 years, following in his dad's footsteps. And here comes the uh, Stags out in their home whites, Blue Valley North in the road navy uniforms. The Garrett at 6-7 going against Jensen. At 6-3, the star football tight end. And Jensen taps it, but it's controlled by Blue Valley North. Here's Parks. Saw Logan, his sister, in action in the girls' game. He's a big body guy. And Parks, little drive, little bank. And the ball caroms out to Jackson Goldberg. And then lost out of bounds. And it'll belong to Bishop Miege. Jackson Goldberg, a star wide receiver, going to play baseball at UCF. His dad works in the front office for the Royals, Lonnie Goldberg. Screen for J-Rod, doesn't take the shot. Wing, their leading scorer. 22 per game for Wing, had it hit on the way up, and he is fouled. Two shots coming up here for Aiden Wing. 
going to be on Parks. I thought that was good defense initially by Parks. I thought he got all ball from this angle, but Wing gets the call. He's averaging 22 points on the season. One of the top scorers in the Metro. Also played football, was a wide receiver. 69% foul shooter. He was named all tournament in the Ralph Miller Classic there at Chinook. Now the steal, the football quarterback. And he got a shot blocked there. Looked like Lashley got a piece. And the Mustangs have it back. Parks, now to Garrett, San is their point guard. Now good defense by McCallop and here he goes on the break. PJ to wing and a foul coming up on Blue Valley North. So the quick hands of PJ McCallop got the uh, break started here. Well, look at that quick hands getting there. Cookie in the cookie jar and drops it off to wing who gets fouled. He'll go to the line for another two attempts and knocks down the first one. Two shots made. Four points now for Aiden Wing. Four nothing start for the Stags. They've won five of their last six. They're playing an undefeated team tonight. As this shot misses everything. Stags have it back. Yeah, lastly, that time too strong on the attempt. Here's J-Rod. And the ball tipped out and went off J-Rod's body, so it'll go to Blue Valley North. Now the officials may change the call. Yes, they, Adrian uh, Flanoy had a better view of it. Makes the call change. Some Mies plays from the baseline. 4-0 start. Stags, back-to-back -back 4A state champions. Beat Andale down in Salina for the uh, 22 championship. Can they win one in 23? Mac Armstrong. New Valley North. Goldberg got his pocket pick. Yeah, good defense. Armstrong back the other way. Got a whistle and a foul on Lashley. I think he got a bump. And that's his second one. And now we're seeing Blue Valley North sub some new players in. Brendan Gatman. Big guy in there. Here's McCallum, three-point range. Pass intercepted by Goldberg. The other player on the floor is Joey Presley, for Ryan Pfeiffer's team. So he's getting some guys in early. As now Goldberg driving and fouled by Dagan Jensen. Yeah, I don't know if Jensen actually created that contact. I think he was did a good job of moving his feet that time. Gets called for it. Early four-point lead for the Stags here at home. Joey Presley working it around. Good perimeter movement on the basketball. Stags look like they're playing a zone here, Mike. Yeah, the 2-3 zone for the Stags. Oh, good drop off. Can't get the runner by Goldberg. The pass was good. Now here's McCallop back the other way. Whistle and an offensive foul on P.J. McCallum. Yeah, got him for the push shot coming down full court. Take a look at it right here. And then a little extracurricular afterwards. Little, yeah, no love lost between these two teams at all. Now the Stags back out into a man and man. We saw him two, three, the last couple of possessions. Trying to slow down Blue Valley North from going inside. And there's a and steal. And the help defense by J. Rod. A little fancy dribbling. 
Wing, pull up from 19. And offensive rebound, another possession for the Stags. Jensen for three out of the corner, nice. buries it. Nice, unselfish play from Aiden Wing to J-Rod. And then Jensen from the corner able to knock that one down. And the Stags are up 7-0 to start this one out. Take a look at it right here. Wing kicks it over to J-Rod, could have shot it. Instead hits Jensen in the corner, who's able to knock it down. And Coach Pfeiffer calls a quick timeout for Blue Valley North. We've got Les Norman here tonight as our sideline reporter. Les? Thanks, guys. Yeah, I was talking to Mie's coach Rick Zeke the other day, and he was talking about how they're 4A, playing against these big 6A teams right now. You wouldn't know who's 4A and who's 6A, but he said it gets them battle-tested. It gets them ready to go for the state tournament. But right now, they are definitely holding their own. Yeah, this team is a perennial power in 4A the back-to-back -back state championships. Zeke has seven. Course, Blue Valley North won it two years ago and one of the favorites this year. Get back to Wichita and win at the Coke Arena. Goldberg tried to reverse, hit the deck and drew the foul. Yeah, Jensen wasn't set down there. He hit the ground hard, his right elbow. Well, he's a baseball player, just signed this week with uh, University of Central Florida. He needs those arms as he... Ooh, yeah, that was that was a tough one right there. Jensen trying to take the charge. Well, hopefully Goldberg is all right. He's going to shake it off, football wide receiver. He was all tournament early this year in the Shawnee Mission East tournament. This guy an all-stater in football and baseball. And he gets one out of two, but Garrett bailing him out with the offensive rebound. Another possession now for Blue Valley North. It's a good rebounding team. Coach Pfeiffer says they're fun to coach as they go inside to their big guy. And just off the bench, Amarion Johnson goes by A.J. with his first foul. Transfer from Olathe South. He started some this year. Joey Presley, drive. And now reverses himself. The, yeah, credit the stack so far defensively. They're bothering Blue Valley North. Uh, you know what? Be quiet, Mike. Goldberg got it. Yep, Jackson Goldberg with a three. Back the other way. And drawing the foul is Aiden Wing, and he's spent uh, half the quarter at the free throw stripe. He's going to go back there again to shoot two. Joey Presley with the foul, and here's Aiden Wing, who's four for four foul shooting. He gets his jersey all taken care of. Came in a 69% foul shooter is Wing. Those numbers are going up. Bishop and the A's holding their own so far in this first quarter. Not allowing Blue Valley North to get any easy looks at the basket. And I love what Coach is doing, switching it up defensively from zone to man and right back. But you know what? Oop. Every time I start talking, this kid shuts me up. Goldberg, nice drive and finish. He has all six on the board for Blue Valley North. They trail at 9-6, three and some change left in the first quarter. This is an EKL game, and Lashley with a very cheap foul there, and his coach is not happy. Coach Pfeiffer slapped his hands, because that's two on Lashley. He's going to have to sit out, and in his place will come Des Hinson. Yeah, just unnecessary. You got him set where you want him and trying to go through his arms. It gets called for the ticky-tack foul.
J-Rod out to the Frank Fontana Award winner. J-Rod the miss, rebounded offensively by Armstrong. This guy is scrappy, 3,800 yards, 39 touchdown passes. Leading his team to a state title with John Holmes. Ball nearly stolen. McCallop gets it back, finds Armstrong for three, nice. and he nails it. Nice. Good job. He earned that one right there, keeping the possession alive. That nice offensive rebound and knocking it down from the corner. Back the other way. Presley is denied at the rim. Good defense by the Stags. Right near the basket. And a travel is whistled on Armstrong. And Armstrong's asking somebody in the crowd if that wasn't a travel. Did I travel there? Take a look at the last bucket. Look at McCalla penetrating, keeping his eyes up and finding Armstrong in the corner. Is this a travel right here? I didn't see it. it took one step. Goldberg operating, go strong left again. Oh my goodness. He is just bully balling to the bucket right now. Bishop Mie is gonna have to get tougher defensively, but he's a low down the lane. Headed to UCF in Florida to play college baseball. He's an infielder, can also play outfield. Dad Lonnie is the vice president of nice look. the Royals as A.J. Johnson with his first field goal. And Armstrong with a steal. And the quarterback gets it back for Bishop Miege. And no good with the runner. And now a steal by J-Rod. And Jason Rodriguez lays it up and in. Nice job. Good job by Jason Rodriguez. Staying in the backcourt and able to come up with that steal. And Blue out of North not doing a great job of taking care of the basketball. Oh, quit playing with him. He has all 10 right now for Blue Valley North. He's a one-man wrecking crew. Single-handedly keeping Blue Valley North in this first quarter. Under a minute to play in the first quarter. Stags by six with the basketball. I like to see McCallop get downhill with his quickness and penetrate, use his speed. Looks like the Stags are going to hold for one with 30 seconds remaining here in this first quarter. Been a good quarter for them. Hit their free throws. Not a lot of turnovers. Hit a couple of threes in Armstrong and Jensen. That's been the difference. As J Rod shot coming up short on the bank. Now J Rod gets the steal. Now the ball is on the floor, tied up, and the arrow will give it to Miege. Did he call a foul or was it a jump ball? Well, let's see. No, they caught a oh, foul. Oh, they did call a foul. They whistled. Wow. Take a look at it right here. J-Rod with the steal, and here's well, McCallop. The McCallop right there is diving on top of Sam. Ah, that's the, what they... No one has possession of the basketball, so it should be a jump ball right there because he had two hands on the basketball. That's two on McCallop, yeah. and he'll have to sit down, and he's not happy. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be happy with that call. Seven seconds remaining in his first quarter. And now a foul on Rodriguez. Defending the other point guard, Zach San up the floor. San going to try to beat the buzzer. Baseline shot up and good. Mason Jordan just nice. off the bench. Beats the first quarter buzzer, and it's a 16-12 start for Bishop Miege at home. Undefeated Blue Valley North clawing back in this one. Yeah, good job. Nice pass, J-Rod with the finish, AJ with the finish, and then the penetration by Goldberg. Going to be a good one. Be back after this. Ready for the start of the second quarter. Dwight Brown in the house. Known as Bubblegum Man. Been coming to Stag's games for nearly 30 years. Korean War veteran. And a spry 89 years old. Always puts a smile on your face when you're at a Miege game when he's handing out that gum. 
And he's happy with that first quarter, Michael. 16 12. The Stags, uh, the underdog team here, but playing at home, looking pretty good through one. Yeah, really came out hitting on all cylinders. Aiden Wing, Armstrong doing well, and J Rod playing well with the basketball up top. Let's be able to continue that. And on the other side, on the other side, Goldberg keeping it in, keeping the North in play with his 10 of the 12 for Blue Valley North. Armstrong, the football quarterback, out to Jensen, his tight end, three off the mark. Nice offensive rebound by Wing and the putback as he beat the 6'7 player to the rim and put it up and in. Yeah, good offensive rebound by Wing, coming from the wing, able to put that one back. Take a look at it, missed by Jensen. Got that from two Blue Valley North players and able to put it back in. Presley out to Mason Jordan, who hit the bucket to end the first quarter. Offensive rebound, gets another possession. Ball is kicked in the paint by Wing. Blue Valley North to keep. This is the first of five straight road games on the EKL slate for Blue Valley North. Number four in the 810 varsity poll. Number one in the Kansas Basketball Coaches Association. As we've got a Miege foul, and Rick Zeke is going to talk to Cooper Moore about that one. Yeah, I didn't see much contact on that one either, Coach Zeke. And he's going to give the young official an earful. That was the 17 foul. So the one and one has started, but unsuccessfully with the front end missed. Here's a Marion Johnson and a reach in foul whistled on North. And it's going to be on Joey Presley. Sand out, Goldberg in. Goldberg was the star of the first quarter as he had 10 of the 12 for the Mustangs. Ball is hit by Garrett. By the way, Goldberg and Jensen, you saw them talking there. They're good buddies. Jensen yeah. hurt his ankle a couple of weeks ago, and I asked Goldberg, I said, how's your buddy doing? He goes, oh, I don't know if he's going to be able to play tonight, but he is out there playing with that eh, probably not 100% ankle. Now he looks good so far, though. And Goldberg lost it, but right to his teammate Garrett. Ball movement is good. Sets up a three out of the corner. Not there. Parks flying in. Had the rebound. It looked like Armstrong took it away from him. And Parks, I mean, he is so stout out here, though. Such an athlete going up strong. Wing. Now here's Armstrong. Back to Jensen. Inside wing. Blocked by Garrett. And they say he kind of cracked down on him. Yeah, Looks like he got was. a lot of ball, but he had his hands kind of outstretched as he talks it over with... The official there, Adrian Flanoy. Yeah, that's what happened. Went up straight initially and then brought his hands down. Take a look at it right here. You go up straight, there's no foul, but as soon as you bring it down, you've seen that brush of the arm, and both officials call that one. And Wing continues. Perfect at the foul stripe. I got him eight for eight, 10 points. So, guy at 69%, well above his average with his free throw shooting tonight. And his team up by eight. Garrett from the baseline. A.J. Johnson the rebound. Hey, Garrett's been pretty quiet tonight for Blue Valley North. Hasn't scored yet and averaging 13 on the season if he can get it going, but here's Hey, wing. wing. A three, no good. Rebound by Jordan. Outlet now to Gantman. Back to Jordan to the rim. Ah, just missed the layup. You got to get those easy ones if you're Blue Valley North. And here comes Bishop. Oh, what a pass. J Rod to AJ Johnson, goaltending on Blue Valley North as the 6 7 player. 
got up there and whacked at it, and Boy. it's goaltending. Take a look right here. What a pass. Dropping dimes, this J-Rod and A.J. You see that Gary with the goaltend already touched the glass, and it'll be two points to Bishop Miege. Jason Rodriguez leads the team in assists at five per game, and when I filled out the scouting report on him, that's what I put. Passer, that's for sure. He's a pass-first guard. Been knowing him since his sixth grade. He and A.J. and Aiden Wing, and Jensen, all those guys grew up playing on the AAU circuit around here, so it's great to see him, play, see him playing right now. Send it down to Les. Hey, guys, thanks. Listen, Jason Rodriguez, man, you're watching a great ball handler. He is controlling this game. It has been an outstanding uh, job by Miege to stay on top of this bigger Blue Valley North team. But Jason Rodriguez has been setting the tone. And I know, Michael, you can talk to that ball handling skill for sure. He has some handles. We call those whips, Les. I got some whips out there. The way he does it, love seeing the player he's developed into a pass first point guard definitely has next level aspirations but right now they're doing a great job of handling an undefeated Blue Valley North team Kevin yeah this is a big lead at home 10 it's their biggest of the ball game let's see what the Mustangs have for them San working against this man to man defense Goldberg, their oh. leading scorer, and Rodriguez poked it out. I thought that went off of Goldberg. I thought J-Rod did a great job with the swipe down. And inside, that is Garrett. He got hit on the side of the head and draws the foul. So the 6'7", big man for Blue Valley North. Can we give J-Rod some love for the cut he has going on? I mean, the haircut is like Elvis Presley, La Bamba mix. I mean, Richie Valens, like, got it going on, man. The big guy, Garrett, pitches left-handed, but look how he shoots, right-handed. So he is ambidextrous. He's a matchup problem if you're covering him as a big guy because he can use both his hands, but headed to Pittsburgh State as a left-handed pitcher at 6'7". And shot no good by Armstrong. Mustangs run the other way. Goldberg. Now out to San. Now Goldberg for three. And Rodriguez knocks the rebound to his teammate, Aiden Wing. Aiden bumped up the floor, still attacks the rim, and will shoot more free throws. This guy needs to start paying rent from the foul stripe. Man, he is living at the foul stripe so far tonight. I think this will be his ninth and tenth attempt, and only in the first half. He's eight for eight. Aiden Wing, 6'4", senior, averaging 22 per game. All tournament down there in Chanute. It's had a very good senior campaign as Wing. Wow, I jinxed him there. Finally missed a free throw. Yeah, I missed that one hard too. Looks like McCallop is set to check back in the game for Bishop Miege. He's playing with those two fouls. Gonna have to be smart. Turnover that time by Blue Valley North. It's not in sync their offense tonight. They haven't got their big guy number 35 there involved, Garrett. Take a look at it right here. Skips it to the corner and Garrett just loses the handle. Good defense that time by AJ Johnson. Wing, runner on the baseline, you betcha. Oh, Aiden man. Wing. He got it going right now. They don't know what to do. Close out to him. He'll shoot it. 
Three out of control. He'll drive by and score. Here's Garrett from deep. Can he answer? He does. Garrett now with five. So the big guy trying to get going. Can shoot the three. He's their leading scorer at 13 per game. It's down to single digits. Oh, nice. Mack left. the knife. Mack Armstrong. Oh, man, with the left. A nice hanging layup. And they're clicking right now in this first half. Goldberg trying to hand it off, thrown away. McCallop back the other way. P.J. to a cutting. J-Rod nice. layup good and the foul on uh, Presley. I like it out of P.J. McCallop off the bench. Unselfish play. I mean, it's showtime in the full court. Take a look at it right here. He's going down. He sees J-Rod the entire time. Whoop! Whips it to him. J-Rod able to take the contact and finish. Usually that's J-Rod passing out those assists. But my man P.J. McCallum right there dropping dimes. Sixty-four percent from the foul stripe doesn't go in for J. Rod. Big lead of twelve for the Stags on their home floor. Like I said, they're tough to beat on this floor. It's a smaller gym. The fans are all over you. It's darker. The lights are. This is an old school gym yeah, right here. It's got like, a this stage. Is, it's got a peanut yeah, gallery. This is what I grew up playing in right here. So you want to beat these guys? It's a tough assignment beating them on their home floor. Ooh. And that is Zach Sand for three. Much-needed bucket. Man, you're right. A much-needed bucket. Pull him back to within nine. Let's see if the A's will keep the foot on the gas if they'll use some clock with two and a half remaining in the half. Well, it is down to single digits. Coming up at halftime, Hy-Vee at the half. Numbers and highlights brought to you by your employee-owned Hy-Vee stores. Kevin White, Michael Watson, Les Norman. Our entire Spectrum Sports crew in Roland Park tonight as a five count on Mac Armstrong and Mac holds up his hands. He can't believe it. He didn't believe that traveling call on Take him look at it right last here. time. You know, it shouldn't be one, two, three. No, I definitely didn't see the five seconds. Whenever the defender backed off initially, he was the official was still counting. Oh, did he drop him off? Almost. Now, Dez, everything but the finish. Some Man. nifty moves there. Dez Kenson, a sophomore <laughs> guard with a ton of upside. One of their wing best players off the bench as Goldberg and a teammate lose it out of bounds. Frustrating night for the Mustangs. I don't want to communicate there when you're rebounding at the baseline and yeah, they take, weren't take, able to. Take a look at it right here. Garrett, yeah, and Goldberg. They're both looking at the at the basketball, so kind of difficult, but it gives an extra possession to the Stags. Runner by Mac Armstrong. Man, they're getting all the small running baskets, the tickle of the rim, and they're all going down for Bishop Miege. And San answers back and won. There's bully ball right there by the Blue Valley North point guard, Zach San. Well, he knocked down a three a couple of possessions ago, and that time puts it on the floor. Nice left to right crossover. And I, I don't know where they called the foul. At, but they called it on Mac Armstrong. On Armstrong, first. I thought he got all ball up top. San, a 82% foul shooter, one of the best on the team, makes it look easy. Fancy moves by J-Rod. And 
into the paint. We've got a whistle. I mean, he got the whips going right now out top. You, you out there on that J-Rod Island, watch this. Ooh, uh, spin, excuse me, bring it back. Henny, hitting with it, dropping. That would have been a dime right there had it not been a foul out top. They gave it to Dez Henson, his first, as J-Rod shooting free throws. Had a number of assists tonight. 64% from the foul stripe. Leads the team, we mentioned, in assists and steals. Senior point guard Jason Rodriguez. Lead at nine, Blue Valley North. Probably the final possession of the second quarter. Much needed bucket here. And trailing throughout the night. Second quarter hasn't gone your way. And big boost if you bury a three or get a big two point shot. You gotta be smart and use the clock. Still 30 seconds left. You don't wanna give Bishop Mies time to get another shot off as they have a nine point lead. Now down to 20 seconds. Looks like they're content to wait for the last shot. Ten Goldberg seconds. ready to go to work. Now Sand back to Goldberg. It's time to go, guys. Oh, in the nice corner, set. Sand set nice. for three oh. in and out. Wow, that was a good set at the end of the half for Blue Valley North. In and out, that would have been big going into halftime. 32-23, Bishop Miege leads it as we check in with Rick Zeke. Coach Rick Zeke, uh, looks like a nine-point lead here. The bigger team, but you guys are running. Jason Rodriguez handling the ball well. How are you going to stay at this pace? Well, it's going to be a tight game, you know that. But we're playing really hard. I'm proud of our kids. We just got to score at the basket and hit our free throws. But, but, you know, we're playing hard, and it's an extremely big team, a very talented team. So I'm proud of them so far. Absolutely. Aiden Wing, pretty good. Only missed one from the free throw line. Looks like he's got a quick release up top. He's holding his own against the bigs, yeah. too. Yeah, we just got to be smarter with the ball and be a little bit more disciplined. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. At the half, coming up next, Stags leading at home. Out ready for the start of the third quarter, guys. Out of the locker room, getting loose for the third quarter. Take a look at the High V first half numbers in this EKL boys matchup. Michael, uh, tell, tell me what jumps off the page and slaps you right in the face. Well, nothing slaps you right in the face. It's pretty even. Blue Valley North not doing a great job of taking care of the basketball. And you see Mia just making them pay with eight points off of those turnovers. And surprisingly, Mia with the advantage on the points in the paint being smaller. They're just pushing the basketball and using their speed to their advantage so far tonight. Leading scorers in the ball game, Jackson Goldberg had 10 to lead Blue Valley North, and he was the top scorer for the Mustangs and got all those, I think, in the first quarter. Aiden Wing has a 13-point first half going. He is the leading scorer on the other side for the Bishop Miege Stags. Can they hold on, Michael? They're it's playing an undefeated number one ranked team in 6A on their home floor. I told you, if you want to beat these guys on their floor, it is tough. Let's check in with Les now. Thanks, guys. I talked with Coach Ryan Pfeiffer. He said this was the worst half of basketball they've played all year. They're going away from everything. They're getting into foul trouble. Uh, Miege is, is packing in a little bit as they try to get inside. So they're going to kind of change the whole game plan, and they got to get back to what gave them this 12-0 start to the season. Well, they've been solid defensively. They shoot it pretty well. They haven't shot it that well in the first half. They've had some turnovers. And like I said, playing in old gyms against old rivals. That's right. Take the home team, usually. I'm not You're going to have to overcome a lot to beat the Stags on their floor is what I'm saying. I'm going to go broadcast from the student section, man. 
They're so hype over there. We got to get Les over there in the student section. Yeah, we got to get him over there, do the next one from right inside and see if we can hear him or even see him. Blue Valley North to start with the basketball in the third quarter. Goldberg, Parks, Garrett, Lashley who's fighting foul trouble and Sand in the road blues. I see how Blue Valley North comes out. Coach Pfeiffer, you said it. They had the worst half they've had so, so far this season. See how they respond. Zach Sand off balance, tough shot, wing the rebound. Wing, J-Rod, Jensen, McCallop, and Armstrong. Ball kicked out. Last touch by Miege. Well, it wasn't a particularly good shot by Sand, but stays on the floor and gets his hand out. Knocked it right yeah. off the sneaker of Wing. So another possession now for Blue Valley North, down by nine. They need the extra possessions. They need to get 35 in the paint going. They're going to the big guy right there. Nice. And he was battling down there with Jensen. But a nice entry pass and a score to start the second half. He's got seven, averages 13 per game. He is a very fundamental big, according to Ryan Pfeiffer. Fundamental big who can also stretch it and shoot it from the outside. We got an offensive foul. Legal that, screen, yeah. Is that Armstrong? Yeah, I believe, no, it's uh, J-Rod. Oh, so J-Rod for the screen, okay. Yeah, the screen, illegal screen here, J-Rod. Oh, yeah. Looks like he stuck his arms out. And now Lashley with his third in the backboard. Two of the three have been very uh, nickel and dimish. And he's going to have to sit down with these foul problems. Yeah, kind of. Well, looks like uh, Ryan Pfeiffer is going to keep him out there. I didn't see anybody jump off the bench, so he'll play with three fouls. Mustangs down by seven, 32-25. Inside wing with a nice cut, but can't finish on the reverse. Man, nice look. See the vision that J-Rod has. Wing just short on it on that little layup. But Lashley down the baseline. Long rebound, Karam's out to Armstrong. Skip pass now to J-Rod. J-Rod, tough shot off balance. Garrett the rebound. He's the leading rebounder for Blue Valley North. He can shoot threes, the big guy cranks it and airballs it. Man. And he will hear about it for the rest of the game. And here's Dagan uh -oh. Jensen with a three, his second of the night. And Jensen stepping out that stretch three, four player that he is, able to knock that one down. Back out to a 10 point lead and a turnover. Dagan Jensen, the football tied in. Also a very good punter. As now Wing attacking the right side and now grabbing his leg there as he hits the floor. Hope he's okay. I think he caught a cramp right there, maybe. Yeah, he's trying to stretch it out. Well, Jensen last time on the floor, Aiden Wing doing a good job of pushing the tempo, kicking up to Jensen. And I mean, he shot it like he knew it right there, knocking that one down. The student section loving it. And then right here, I think he may have caught a cramp in his calf, but he's going to try to battle through it. That is. Sending Aiden Wing to the line. He's been very good. He's now 9 of 11. Now he's missed three in a row after starting nine in a row in the hoop. Lead at 10 for Miege at home, trying to beat undefeated Blue Valley North. Sand with a step. Oh man, what a nice move by Sand and finishing off the right leg with the right hand. You've gotta love it. it
Callup lost it. Finding now Jordan with the layup. Here uh -oh. comes Blue Valley North back. Timeout, Bishop Miege. Two possession ball game as number one in 6A is fighting back on the road. Well, you knew they weren't going to go quiet into the night. Fighting back, watch this move by Sand. A nice finish showing his athleticism. And then the turnover right here. Pokerton loose from McCallop and off to the races. The Stags, I'm sorry, Blue Valley North, the Mustangs, trying to stay in this one. Woo. Mason Jordan comes off the bench. He and Henson are good scorers. And Coach Pfeiffer said his team played poorly in the first half, but a couple minutes into the third quarter, it looked like a different team as they're getting back in this ball game. Ryan Pfeiffer, former Nebraska player, good friends with uh, Ty Lu as he played basketball with the Cornhuskers with Ty Lu. Also good buddies with uh, Alex Gordon, the former Royal. He was an assistant coach at Lincoln Southeast. Alex was a star football and baseball player there. And they are good friends. Six point lead and the basketball. The lead is a little more tenuous now for the Stags. Here goes Mack to the bucket. Can't finish. Garrett the rebound. Goldberg tapping his chest as he brings it across. And now Jackson all the way in for the bucket. Man, Man just not good defense from Bishop Miege, allowing the Mustangs to get all the way to the rim. Here's Jensen, does he have an answer? No. Charge no. on Jensen what? and oh. will go the other way. Oh, he gave it up. The top official had the charge, the low official had a block, but the last possession, Goldberg coming around with the bucket. Charge a block, you call it, Kev. Well, the official said it's foul number three on Jensen, so that's a big foul on the big guy. Really the size for Miege. Well, we got a ball game now at 35 31. Blue Valley North trailed by as many as 12 in the first half. Here's Gantman for three. And rebounded by the Stags. Mac Armstrong getting it to J Rod. J Rod had it poked from behind. Ball on the floor. And Aiden Wing saves the day as he got that 50 50 ball back to the Stags. Yeah, it's been all Mustangs. So far in this third quarter, back to within four after being down 10. 6-0 run for Blue Valley North. Armstrong. Oh, nice left hand by Armstrong. The football quarterback showing his skills on the basketball floor. Showed some great quickness. Got it to his offhand and able to bank it home. Here's Garrett at his pocket pick. J-Rod with the steal. Two on one. J-Rod all the way in. Lays it up and in. Nice finish by J-Rod. Thought he would drop it off to Jensen. Decided to keep it himself. And Bishop Mie is kind of answering the bell right here. Here's Goldberg. Can't hit it, got the underside of the rim, or basket there. And another two on one, Rodriguez finding Armstrong, and a reach in foul on North. Gotta love the poise this kid plays with J-Rod. Always looking up, take a look at the pass and coming up, the little wraparound pass, McCallum, and then you know it's about to be showtime. And Sand has to get in there and foul Armstrong as he knocks down the first of two free throws. Armstrong averaging eight, has 10. Second quarterback in the school's history to win the Frank Fontana Award is senior Mac Armstrong. Carter Putz also won it, played baseball at the University of Notre Dame. 
Goldberg and McCallum dueling. Here's Sand. Oh, nice move. Zach Sand, he's got 10. Nice move by Sand. Allen and the defender to fly by him and then able to finish with the layup and look like Blue Valley North is going to come back. And there's a foul by Sand. And we got another foul on Sand. He's had back to back fouls on the last two possessions. But that's his first two fouls of the game. Miege will have it on the side. Screen for Mac Armstrong. Mac had it oh. blocked by Garrett. Garrett. Yeah, yep. it's 6 7, the big guy. And here's Goldberg. Oh! Person at home, Jackson hey. Goldberg. Hey, he's with the smoke tonight. My goodness. I mean, he's finishing around the rim with everything. A lot of reversals, too, which aren't Man. easy. Aiden Wing off the mark. Garrett the rebound. Finding Sand. Sand back to Presley. Stop and go. Blocked by Rodriguez, and they say a foul. Two shots wow. for Joey Presley. Take a look at the last bucket by Goldberg. Steps through. Oh, my goodness. From one side to the next. Watch this. Filet. That was nice right there off the kiss. I like Goldberg. Jackson Goldberg. You got to say it like that, Kevin. I'll work on it. I got you. Don't worry about it. Joey Presley, 60% foul shooter. Those energy hustle guys off the bench for Ryan Pfeiffer. He's giving them pretty good minutes tonight. Four-point lead. Miege the lead in the basketball. Nice fake by Armstrong. Back to wing. Now to Jensen, who has two threes. Make nice it three. Nice shot by Jensen. And the same official who called the Tech in the girls' game calls the Tech in this game. Point of emphasis here. And I don't know if Jensen said anything. Or it's just, his fourth foul, he just too. just looked at him. Because he had three personals. Even Goldberg doesn't understand why the Tech was called. So Jalea Davis. He flashed three fingers at him after he made it. Okay, so that, that's, the, that's the call. It was a three. Yeah. Sand hits the first of the two. He's got 11. So Jalea Davis is sitting right behind the Blue Valley North bench. She's probably going, that happened to me in the first game. Keep your comments to yourself. As Zach Sand has 12, three above his average, five point lead, and now Goldberg and Blue Valley North will play it in. Yeah, this is what got the technical foul right here. He, he hits the three, but he watches his right hand, flashes the three. But I don't know if he gestured at the other player or not. And that's a five second call. Sand. Great defense from Aiden Wing. Yeah, Sand frustrated there as the defense caused a turnover. Five point lead in the basketball. Late stages, third quarter. Blue Valley North struggled through the first half, is back in this ball game. And once again, you've got to beat this team on their home floor. Johnson to McCallum, no. And we've got a rebounding foul underneath. Well, we got to take a look at the first three of the game that Jensen hit, and he flashes the three right there, right in front of the same official. He's not doing it at a player, but then he gets called for the last one. So I don't know if that's a point of emphasis or just whenever you kind of feel like it, but he wasn't gesturing at the other player, but Play on anyhow, Garrett down low, and he's filed, fouled. Yeah, yeah, Garrett went with the power move, a little drop step, and now a technical uh, is whistled again on Miege. 
Wow. Hayward with the foul on Garrett. And then a technical was whistled on Miege as well. I don't know what that technical was for. I think. Garrett. These are the foul shots for fouled in the act of shooting. It's one out of two. He's got eight points. Average is 13. Now here's the technical. And we still haven't got word on who the technical was whistled I think on. it was on Armstrong, number four. Well, Mac is an emotional kid. That's why he's such a good quarterback. And he just reacted. One out of two on the technicals. Three-point game, and Blue Valley North will have the basketball down by three. Quick look right here. He gets the rebound, and he... Oh, yeah, that's the tech right there. Ah. New ball game as we... In play in the third quarter. Goldberg denied. Blocking foul. Whistled on Miege. And the last man to get up is A.J. Johnson. And it's a one-and-one -and -one awarded to Jackson Goldberg. Yeah, it wasn't a flat-on charge by A.J. Johnson. Stepped in a little bit late. Goldberg. He is the game's leading scorer with 15. Mentioned he's going to go play college baseball down in Florida at UCF. That just came news this week. Just talked to Coach Pfeiffer a couple weeks ago. He was like, he's going to play college baseball somewhere, but we don't know yet. We know now. Two-point ball game and a travel on me. Wow. It's just unraveling right now in the third quarter on the back of a couple of technical fouls. Let's see right here. He called McCallop for the travel. Ball knocked out by Armstrong. Blue Valley North still 6.2. A three gives them their first lead of the ball game. Out of the corner, no good by Jordan, and the ball is knocked out. That is the end of the quarter. Zeros on the board. Fourth quarter coming up next. 44-42, number one in 6A has battled back. Back with the fourth quarter on the High V High School Game of the Week. Fans loving life here. And Bishop Miege, Hyvee scoring by quarters. Blue Valley North, a strong third quarter, and they're back in it. As they had a 19-point quarter, and this should be an interesting fourth quarter. It was a nine-point lead for Miege at halftime. Miege led it by four at the end of the first quarter, but now we got a new ball game, Michael. This final eight minutes, uh, I want to buckle up here. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Blue Valley North, they're sensing they can come back and take this lead. Well, how will Bishop Miege respond? Jason Rodriguez with the ball. It's going to be a good fourth quarter. Jensen, A. J. Rod, McCallop, wing on the floor. Armstrong Along with Mac Armstrong, it. yeah. Armstrong, yeah. He can definitely hit from out there. Here's J. Rod, watched by Goldberg. This is a very patient set by the Stags. Drive and kick. Jensen powering a shot up off the glass. No. And a nice rebound there by Adam Parks. 
Goldberg attacking. In and out to tie the game. Man, wow. That was a good move by Goldberg. He drives so strong. A little too strong on those soft rims. Aiden Wing tries to answer, and he does. Nice runner across the lane for Aiden Wing. He's got 15. Goldberg's got 15. They're the top scorers. Reach in foul by Rodriguez. And it's a one and one. That's a big difference here as the penalty is awarded to Zach Sand. Yeah, not a smart foul. With last possession, Aiden Wing going across the lane against Park. Able to get the floater. J-Rod's out of the game with a lot of time wow. left. That's, That's a big loss. Foul. Yep. That's a huge loss. And that was a cheap one, too. He just kind of whacked down on the arms. So Zach Sand at the foul stripe. Front end of the one and one is buried. So bonus toss now to Sand. 82% foul shooter, the best foul shooter on the Blue Valley North squad. That's why he's been shooting all the technicals. And he's just got a good rhythm, good stroke. Two point lead for Miege. A little 2 1 2 full court look, throwing something different at the Stags. And they go back to their man to man defense. Armstrong lining up a three. Hey! He threw up the three again. I don't know. He didn't get called for the tech. And Lashley down the baseline. Man, what a move by Lashley. Great job. I thought he was going to reverse it. Stops his steps and able to finish on the right side. These te teams are battling back and forth. Yeah, he's still holding on to a three-point lead. Yeah, it is quite the barn burner now. These EKL games on Friday nights, always tough. And we saw we saw Armstrong right here line it up, thought about it the previous possession, but this time he said, you know what? I'm about to take it, throwing up the three. And then the next time on the floor, the North Bucket, lastly, good job. Sidestepping the defense and finishing. Coach Pfeiffer calls a timeout with 6.23 remaining in the game. The three-point gesture that players are doing now after every three. They're just signaling you're, three. Yeah, but if you're doing it as a disrespectful, unsportsmanlike gesture to your defender or the official, that's what the official sees. Now, but if you do it to your crowd right, here yeah. like the Mac just did. I think Jensen did the that's same okay. thing. That's okay. I mean, I yeah. I think it just... It's a preference because he's right in front of the official, and the official didn't say anything. So he's See, that's to his fellow students here at Miege. That's not to the guy that was defending him. So a three-point yeah, lead. I've never seen a technical call for that in my life. If you're looking for it, you're going to call it. Oh, nice slip by Jensen. Is he able to finish? And a blocking foul as Sand is injured as he tried to take the charge and fell hard. <laughs> Sand, uh, yeah, fell back on his wallet I, there. I'm, I'm I, laughing at the, the student section. Yeah, they thought he was faking. Yeah, they thought he was <laughs> Oh, my goodness. What a world. And you know these kids know each other. I mean, they, they spend a lot of time in the summer with each other. But Jensen right here, and Sand, he, he falls hard, too. Jensen was a tight end in football. This guy's a skinny guy. There's not much uh, to protect him when he falls on his on wallet. His, on his wallet. Yeah. Hey. One out of two, four-point lead, Mie Stags. Can they pull the upset tonight on their home floor? They've won five of their last six. This Blue Valley North team undefeated, undefeated in the league. Here's Sand down the baseline. What? And a foul is called. Oh, wow. Let's see if that's on Jensen. Now, this one. He has fouled out of the game now. And he fouls out. Watch. Take a look at him. He's, he's literally backing up with his hands up. Never puts him down one time, and he gets called for the foul. That's, just, that's a no call, if anything. 
I mean, he never, never touched him with his body, never leaned in. That's two starters, Michael, and, out of the game. J-Rod and uh, Jensen, who uh, will commiserate not, on the bench. Not for the rest a of the good night. call. And you got to know how many fouls guys have. You're fouling out two starters for Bishop Miege. Yeah, Jensen not happy. And I don't blame you, young fella. He did everything you're taught to do. Keep your hands up. Don't put your hands down. He never leaned into him with his body and still gets called for this fifth foul. Sand, the good foul shooter, connects on a pair. And all of a sudden, the lead is down to two. And Rick Zeke, uh, this team without two of their starters. I mean, J-Rod averaged 10 points. Jensen averaged 11 points, so two of their top scores. And now Goldberg with a foul. Defending the quick guard, P.J. McCallum, but they've got fouls to give now. That's six team fouls. Next one will be a one and one. Yeah. P.J. McCallum is going to have to step up for Bishop Miege with Jason Rodriguez out. We know he has the quickness and the explosiveness to get to the rim. Here's Armstrong getting the screen from A.J. Johnson. Doesn't take it. Wing going one-on-one -on -one with Parks. Driving. Blocked. Good defense by Blue Valley North. I think Parks stuck his hand in there and rejected it. Joey Presley, now to Goldberg. Goldberg and McCall have been a good matchup all night. See what they want to do. I go to 35 if I'm them. He's not in the court. He, uh, now he's going into a posting position. To, he's calling for the ball. Zone is really collapsing on Blake Jarrett. He's their leading scorer. There they go to him. But he is denied. The double team comes and he gets rid of it. Lashley down the baseline. Blocking foul on Miege. Now, it's going to be on Nate Hayward. Now that is a. And now Rick Zeke is hot under the collar and out of the box momentarily, but then quickly backed up. As the official there, John Becker eyeballed him. Now, if you're going to call a foul on an offensive player, that would have been the time to do it. He lowered his shoulder right into the chest of the defender, which is textbook offensive foul call. That is why coach is so upset. Lashley. 58% foul shooter, hits the first. This could tie the game, middle stages of the fourth. He does. 50 apiece. Four and a half in regulation. Well, we've seen a battle so far, but we've seen answers by Bishop Miege. Every time the Mustangs have made a run. Rick Zeke saying spread the ball out. He's spreading his arms. As his team runs the set right in front of him. Well, weave out front action, trying to get something, get those driving lanes to open up. You can't go in the stall ball right now. You still got to put points on the board. I think this tempo favors Blue Valley North. Here's Wing. Uh -oh. oh, nice moves. Bricks the oh, shot. Man. Look who got in there and got the rebound. Mac Armstrong, and he's tied up. Arrow goes to Blue Valley North. And the cheering section for Mies right there when the call is made erupts in disagreement. Take a look at it right here. Armstrong gets it. Goldberg snuck in. Kind of a quick jump ball, but not a bad call. Trying to get their first lead of the night. Let's see what Ryan Pfeiffer does against this zone. This is the zone with wing that plays out front like a 1-2-2. Two, two. Wings long wing span. No pun intended. He can get out there on the three-point shooters. Yeah, that's a good call by Coach Zeke. Just changing it up against Blue Valley North. 
especially with Jensen out of the game. They're so undersized. Aiden Wing is the biggest player for them. You got guys in Garrett and Park and Lashley out there who are all big for Blue Valley North. San, quick pass to Lashley. And I thought that was a travel by Lashley, but no call. Clock down to two and a half. Inside they go. Garrett reverses it home. First lead of the night for the Mustangs on the road and their fan base, which is in the peanut gallery and behind their bench, they erupt. <laughs> 10 points now for Garrett, averages 13. Crossover, and the Burn! three is buried. Let's go! That's my guy right there. Who Arm was it? I can't even that's see. That's Armstrong, baby. He wants all the smoke. Well, the crowd blocking yeah, on you. Call. Traveling on Blue Valley North. Armstrong firing up the crowd after he hit a three. I mean, you got to love it. Look at Armstrong. <laughs> that's my guy right there. Penetration and kick by McCallum. Armstrong says, you know what? I got it. Looks to the crowd. You know what time it is. The QB, this our house, baby. Well, he's got three threes, 17 points, and puts his team back up by one. Look at him. He like, lead me up and again if you want to. Led his team to a football state championship, and Garrett swats it away, but fouls Armstrong, and, that, and will shoot two. Man, Armstrong, like, you know what? Coach Zeke, I got it. I got it. Take a look at it right here. Gets him with the body. Clean up top, but gets him with the body. Armstrong will go to the line to shoot too. But you gotta love the moxie on this kid right here. I mean, he is just flat out tough. The miggity, 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 miggity Mac. I know you know that song. No, I don't, Oh Michael. my gosh. Oh boy. Ted, you, you know that song, don't you? Everybody knows Michael's songs. <laughs> Uh -oh. Free throw miss, Hayward with a stick back. Oh my goodness, and he shocked himself. Ball just fell in his lap. Sand for three, no good. Rebound taken by the Stags. McCallop trying to beat the defense. Oh. Sand rejected it, but they called a foul. Wow. Free throws for P.J. McCallop. Oh man, that was Let's take a look at it right here. Was it a foul? Oh, got him with the body, but I mean, clean up top, saying hustling to get back into it. These free throws are going to be important. Not close on the first. Yeah, not even close on the first free throw. He's only a 58% foul shooter. Take a look at this. No box out. Just falls right into the hands. Yeah, Nate Hayward, right place, right yeah. time. That was his first bucket of the game coming off the bench. He was shocked himself. Couple of key misses there by P.J. McCallop. Four-point lead, though, for the Stags. Just over a minute, and Ryan Pfeiffer wants to call the timeout. So Blue Valley North will take the timeout. 1.13 to go in regulation. Oh, yeah. Let's go to my man, Les. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm here with the MEA student section. Are you guys ready for this thing to go to the end? Absolutely, let's go, baby! That's right! All right, what's, what's the final score going to be right here? Give me a final score prediction. No matter, stags are always on top. We're winning the stags are back, baby! These guys are crazy. All right, we'll head back to you guys. <laughs> my man said, it doesn't matter, this thing's always gonna be on top. I'm about to go crowd surfing here in like 2.5 seconds, Kev. Be my guest. <laughs> go for it. Well, what's going on as far as Blue Valley North? What are they gonna do to try to evaporate this four point lead and try to send this to overtime? Well, you gotta get something quick and something going towards the basket. You saw what they did last time of putting Garrett I would top. go Garrett. Yeah, Garrett at the top of that zone, especially if the stacks stay in their zone. Put Garrett at the top, play a little high-low action between him and Lashley. 
they got the size advantage. Let's see how they come out after that timeout. Six, seven guys ready to go. He's got 10 points. 15 for Jackson Goldberg, 16 for San. Those are the top scorers tonight. Goldberg got most of his in the first quarter. Goldberg inside, Jarrett, and yep. he hands there it off go. to Lashley. Good play call there. I feel like I called that for him. High-low action, Garrett to Lashley. Two-point lead. Armstrong <laughs> trying to dribble some time off the clock, and now we'll get a Rick Zeke timeout. And the, the official gave uh, Peach Armstrong a long look after he shot that after the timeout was called. He's done that a few times tonight. Yeah, I don't think the official wanted him shooting that, and he almost got a tee right there. And well, we that was John Becker kind of gave him the long look, but he didn't tee him up as Miege in their timeout. Well, we got to keep the games about the kids. Well, we've seen some technicals tonight. I See, mean, after the whistle blows, he, he lets it go from three, and I don't know. I just saw the... Uh, the officials stand well, they, down. Yeah, yeah. It was the, have you heard the, the old stink eye? You get the stink eye from the yeah, official? Yeah, but no one's here to watch the officials, though. Right, you want to you know. see the kids play. He got the stink eye play. after that. Yeah, he got the stink eye after it, but, I mean. So the timeout's going to be called, and then Max is going to go ahead and jack it up. And the official's going to catch it right underneath the basket. Yeah, I'm just. Thankful it wasn't and another he technical. And stared down Mac as he walked to the bench area. Oh, yeah, for sure. But let's see Coach Zeke, what he's talking about in that huddle right there. You can't be timid. Use some clock. But still, if you got the opportunity, you got to take it. Let's see how they respond. Blue Valley North been doing great. Here's the stink eye you're talking about, Kevin. And he just yeah, looked at it. Yeah, he caught it and just kind of. He held his whistle. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm happy he didn't call a tech. All right. After the Miege timeout, let's see what the Stags have in the hopper here. As, oh, McCallop in trouble. Nearly turned it over in the backcourt. Now Wing in the backcourt. Double team. Timeout Miege as their coach rescuing wow, the Stags. Wow, he sure did. As they nearly turned it over. At just under 45 seconds to go. Yeah, Blue Valley North came out. Initially, they were going to foul McCallop. Hasn't shot the ball well from the free throw line, but then he loses it. And then I sense Blue Valley North like, hey, we can maybe get a steal right here. And if Aiden Wing had let that one go, it would have been a steal. You got to get Armstrong back in the backcourt to help out with that press breaker. I know Kozuki is talking about that. Don't just leave the ball handler when there's two defenders out top. But it was McCallop's wild dribble that yeah. nearly. He almost coughed it yeah. up without anybody touching him. You see those spots on the back of uh, number 33. They do a lot of cupping. You <laughs> see those little to try to heal their bodies. These guys are young guys, but I uh, I was at practice the other day. I was like, man, who's doing all the cupping hey, on your man, but they, they guys? Play, they play multiple sports, yeah. you know, so the body takes that it's, wear It's uh, one of the new ways to heal the body, cupping. Leaves a big uh, red uh, circle on you, though. As here's Wing. And Wing's still not across. And Wing does get across. Now he sees a double team. Ball off his leg. And a foul. It's on Logan Parks on a reach in. Man, that was close right there. I think it was because of the angle that he came out of that. Did he get the arm? Oh, definitely. Yep, got the wrist. Got the so. wrist. And whenever you swipe down, they're going to call it. But if he had swiped up, they probably wouldn't have called that on Parks right there. And a one and one awarded now to Big Wayne. Big free throws right here. He's been good from the foul stripe tonight. Out there cool as a cucumber on the bottom of the refrigerator. Knocks it down. 11 for 14 foul shooting. 17 points, four point lead. Now Blue Valley North gonna have to get going here. They can still shoot a two. You gotta get need to pick to up the, the pace. Goldberg blocked by Hayward. Lashley a stick back. No, Garrett with the stick back. Timeout, Ryan Pfeiffer and Blue Valley North in a two point game with 13 seconds. Uh oh, it might come down to a free throw shooting contest. 
Let's take a look at the play. Good drive by Jackson Goldberg. Gets it off the glass. Gets it blocked, actually. Lashley with the miss. But Garrett right there to clean it up in a quick timeout by Coach Pfeiffer at Blue Valley North. Well, next week, old school Berry Road rivalry game. Park Hill and the Bell Brothers travel to Oak Park to take on the Allen Brothers. That's going to be good. Yeah, Marquez and uh, Kendrick taking on uh, Winston and Corbin. That ball game should be an exciting ball game up there in the Northland. The mean streets of Gladstone, Kevin. That's yeah. what that is. Yeah, that's G Town. Uh, I don't know if they actually call it that, but that's what we're going to call it, G-Town. Yeah, yeah, North Oak Road there. North is, Oak Road. Yeah, well, I'm, Oak Park's not officially on Berry Road, but you take Berry Road. I did the Berry Road two-step last week. Talked to Chad Jones, the Park Hill coach. Uh, his high school coach was Rick Zeke back in the day. Yeah. Where he became an All-American at William Jewell. You know everything. You know all the tidbits that nobody else would know, Kev. That's why I rock with you, man. I don't, I don't know, know any of the songs you, uh, you know, you That's all right. me. You make me better. And I'm not I into make, crowd surfing. I make you better, man. We make each other better. All right. Trap in the corner. Wing in trouble, and he'll get the timeout. How many timeouts did it? That, that should be it. That's yeah. three. Well, let's see. The scoreboard, yeah, I think maybe we got one each left as Wing was trapped in the corner. They get four timeouts. They get too many timeouts. Yeah, I, I agree. You play the game. Now the trap got Wing, and Wing, uh, they want to make sure Wing gets it because he's been uh, hot from the foul stripe. Got and trapped. then he just went backwards right into the corner, and that's, uh, yeah, that is the worst place you can go into. That brings, like, another two defenders on the floor with that corner situation on the floor. I mean, Wing got trapped on the wing, and then Wing went down to the corner, and Wing got trapped on the corner. You get it? You with me? Yeah. I, All right. I got the little <laughs> play on words there. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not falling out of my seat laughing. But. Oh, I thought it was funny. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it was funny. Well, that's yeah, pretty much that's your joke. Yeah, you got to laugh at your own jokes, Kevin. All right. Well, yeah, we're, uh, yeah there's Watson there. He's the joke man right there with the cold hands. We He's wearing the, gloves no, in a gymnasium. It's cold in here. But I got the nice gloves where I can still, you know, handle my phone. And yeah, all right. The expensive ones, it looks like. These North were, Face, yeah. These were a pretty penny, Kevin. All right. Not uh, going to lie. All right. You deserve them. Thank you, brother. As Hayward to play it in. Got to come to the ball. Who now wants get it? McCallop. He's not a good foul shooter, and they got him. Now McCallop's only in the 50% range, and he missed his last he two. He did. He missed him badly as so well. So now let's see. PJ and how good he feels about stepping to the line. That's what they wanted. They wanted to get him to the foul I think drive. He's, I think he's going to knock him down, right. though. I feel like it's, it, he's going to knock him down right now. Watch. The sisters played pretty well in the earlier game, won by Blue Valley North, 58%. And, hey, good call, Michael. All right, now one more. He's this a, is the one that counts. He's just a winner. He, he got that swag about him. It's crunch time, baby. The lights are on. All right, one more. This to turn out the lights in this dark gym. Oh. And he doesn't hit it. They got time. Do they call the timeout? Lashley at the buzzer to send it to overtime. Oh. No. And Miege wins it. 59-56. And let the <laughs> celebration begin here in Roland Park as Blue Valley North falls for the first time this year. They are now 12-1. Miege, winners of six of their last seven. They go to 9-3 on the year. <laughs> As here's the final ticks, Michael. Well, Lasley had a good look at it. I'm surprised Coach didn't call a timeout. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. If he call a timeout to set something I up. I would have definitely called a timeout to set something up. But nevertheless, the top team goes down to Bishop Miege. And you called it at the beginning of the game. If you're going to beat an undefeated team, no better place than to do it than at home here at Bishop Miege.
Let's check in with the winning coach tonight. Well, we're waiting. Uh, we'll get to uh, Coach Zeke. Uh, he's uh, talking to some of his players before he uh, talks to our own Les Norman, and now looks like he's with Les. And uh, Aiden Wing is also down there. So, uh, and Mac Armstrong, uh, we are ready to go. Let Les. Yeah, guys, I got a couple stars here. I got Aiden Wing, Mac Armstrong. Mac, huge three down the road, dude. That, that was incredible. Tell me about that shot. That was, that was money. I don't know, man. Hey, shots haven't been falling this year. Keep shooting them confidently, and one finally fell. It was awesome. Well, you got it at the right time. Aiden Wing, I feel like I'm two feet tall standing next to you, man. Outstanding game. You played both small ball and big ball well. Great defense. Handled the ball well. What do you think was the key to this? This was a tough win. You took down an undefeated team. Uh, I had a tough time making shots, but when this guy steps up making big shots, we're a tough team to beat. So I mean, that, was a, that was a big part of it. 11 for 13 or 11 for 14 from the line. I know you missed three, but that was still impressive. That, you know, the free throws are, are big, right? Yes, sir. For sure. Uh, you got to ice them at the end of the game. So that's what we were just trying to do. Absolutely, Coach. I got to give you the end here. What do you got? Oh, just great effort for our kids. They're a very talented team. You know, I think we out hustle them at times, and we just played our hearts out. That's all I ask them to do. Gentlemen, outstanding win. Great job tonight. We'll see you guys. Go celebrate. Back to you guys. Oh, Michael, that was a good win. It Two was. guys fouled out, and the Stags hang on to win. High V post game is coming up next. Well, Bishop Miege back-to-back 4A state championships, but I told you at the beginning of the night here, Michael, you got to come in here and beat these guys on their floor. They're not going to give it to you. And Miege holds tough after they blew an early double-digit lead and wins at 59-56. Your final thoughts? I mean, they showed the wherewithal tonight, battling, having a lead, losing it, and coming back with a total team effort. Got to shout out Aiden Wing, J-Rod, Jansen, AJ, and the Miggity Miggity Mac Daddy Mac Armstrong, a couple of big threes, and then PJ McCallop. Great job sealing and knocking down that free throw. Special thanks to our school ADs, Joe Schramp, always helping us out. Kelly Curley from North helping us out as well. Our coaches, Ryan Pfeiffer and Rick Seek. Producer, Joe Novacek. For Michael Watson, Les Norman, our entire crew, Kevin White saying so long from Bishop Miege High School. Our final once again, it was a nail biter in boys EKL action 59 56 as Miege pulls the upset on previously undefeated Blue Valley North.